Good morning, everyone. I uh, want to announce that the meeting will begin, and I'm going to take a roll call of the board mem members to confirm their presence. And I'm starting with uh, Chuck there. Yes. Bill DeMeo. Present. Damon Jesperson. Present. Chris Howe. Present. And Joyce Maturis. So that gives us uh, five members and present. So we are in. Um, we are, it validates a quorum is on hand by using the following table. And the first thing on the agenda today is approval of the minutes. And the first minutes are for the meeting we had on April 7th. I don't know if everybody's had an opportunity to read them. Yes. Good. Good. Yep. Yes. Okay, so we'll take a vote on approving the minutes of the meeting on April 7th. All in favor? Aye. Uh, uh, let's make, make a motion. Right? Make, oh, make yes, a motion. yes. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of the meeting on April 7th. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Now we are going on to the meeting, of uh, the minutes of the meeting for April 25th. And uh, again, does anybody have any questions or discussion about these minutes? Okay, then let's move on. Uh, Chuck wasn't here for that um, meeting, so we'll start with Bill. Do you, um, well, let's give a, first of all, a motion to approve them. I'll make the motion to approve the minutes of the meeting we had on April 25th, 2022. Second, please. I second it. So uh, I'll um, say all in favor. Aye. Aye. Thank you. I'm not going to read the public uh, comment uh, because uh, we actually do not have an audience that has any comment. <coughs> so we're moving on. Um, I had missed that in the beginning. So the Council of Aging uh, Board of Directors is going to appoint the Director of the Council on Aging as the <coughs> election coordinator. The election coordinator will proceed with the election process for the nomination of officers for 2022 and 2023. Oh, okay. Hi, Susan, come in. Welcome. Sorry, honey. <laughs> it's okay. <coughs> 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 you probably need to make a motion to do this. Yes, I was just welcome to do this. So let's make a motion um, to proceed uh, with that, uh, what we just talked about, uh, nominating um, the director to be the uh, the uh, overseer of the election. I will make that <coughs> motion to elect uh, the board of directors appoints Cindy Curry, the director of the council on aging, as the election coordinator. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Cindy, it's in your hands. Okay, so as we've been through the meetings before, Bill has given us a process. This is a nomination form that I'll pass out to all of you to nominate. Chairperson, vice chairperson, and secretary. <clears throat> so I'll, I'll take one and pass it down, and then I will collect them from you. And then, um, did you want me to do this at the next meeting where I'm presenting the actual ballot? <coughs> yes.
still on this here. I don't have anything for five, so I hope that they... together for our next meeting and pass that to all of if he wants to change it or she wants to change it, they can. Okay. Okay. But I was very comfortable with that. So, uh, so the next uh, uh, on the agenda is uh, the Council on Aging Director's Report. Um, before I get to that, can I just ask a quick question on the approval of the minutes? There were three of you that approved the minutes, shouldn't there be four? that approve the April 25th minutes. Now that Susan's here, do you want to redo that one? Correct, correct. Okay. Yes. That's, that's a good idea. I know Susan has read the minutes because she's very... Oh, well, I'm fine if you just want to take my vote or you have to do the whole vote over. Oh, we'll do the whole thing over. Okay. So, uh, with the arrival to Susan at the meeting, let's review and the approval of the April 25th meeting minutes. Um, I would like to make a motion to do that. I'll make the motion to approve the minutes of the April 25th meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, Cindy. Okay. So the um, <clears throat> sort of recap of past events, and Damon, I didn't email you this, just so you know. Um, <coughs> We had a trust and estate planning workshop. We collaborated with the Newburyport Bank. They got an attorney from um, Gilmore and Gilmore, who is uh, located, their main office is in Danvers, but they have a satellite office in Newburyport. Um, they had an attorney come and sort of go over important documents people should have in place. Uh, lots of people that we've never met before came to that program, so that was good to see. It was an evening program, number one, I think that helped. Number two, the subject matter helped. Um, so we are looking to offer more um, educational <laughs> programs like that. Um, so that went really well. I want to say we had 20 people sign up and five did not attend. There are a few people. Um, same thing with our Mother's Day tea, volunteer lunch, and some people are still citing COVID as a reason for not wanting to gather. Um, other people, one person had a recent hospitalization, someone else just wasn't feeling well, so people are being cautious about coming out when they are not feeling well. So um, we thought we had a bigger sign up, but you know, things happen. And, um, so that was the trust and estate planning workshop. Our volunteer luncheon we had at Starboard Galley. We have not been able to appropriately thank volunteers for the past two years because of COVID. We haven't had gatherings, so this was our first time. Um, my first time as the director here, but the first time in two years that we've done a volunteer luncheon. Um, I think people who attended had a good time. We got a lot of good feedback, nice. um, but it was a nice event. So um, we will certainly look into doing that on an annual basis to thank our volunteers. The Mother's Day tea, uh, again, we had something like 20 people sign up and 16 attended. Um, again. Hospitalization was one factor. Another woman was going to urgent care that morning. There was a few things like that that had come up. Um, but we got a lot of great feedback <coughs> about that as well. And Kathy and I are looking at doing more luncheons on a regular basis. Um, it seems to be a big draw for people. We would like to uh, thank Kate Banashke, who is the president of our Friends Board, but she personally sponsored the, the tea. She paid for the catering costs in memory of her mom. Louise. Um, she does something like that every year, so she chose us this year. And this, we're very grateful for that. 
Um, our watercolor class will attend it every month. There'll be no class in July. Bill, the um, instructor, is unavailable, but will resume in August. Exercise classes are well attended. Yoga is starting to outgrow the, um, space. the space. So as the summer comes and it's warmer weather and if people are up to it, we can put the canopies out on the field at Central Street. Uh, if not, we will. you can look at the space downstairs and if you want to use the big room, whatever you want to do, we'll, mm -hmm. um, we'll make sure it works. I know you guys really like that space over there at um, Central Street. Um, it's just I know that the room is a little bit yeah, it's a little, we have people hiding in the corner because of yeah. that weird Yeah, job. it's like this little alley. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. a strange, so, yeah. so I have to sort of like position myself so that they can see around the corner. Around the corner. And, yeah. But it is now, at, like I said, full capacity unless I'm against the door. Right. Right. Which is great. <laughs> it's great, but I want to make sure you have enough room everyone can spread out and, you know, yeah. enjoy the class. So we'll work on moving downstairs. Um, the programs through Mass Audubon, Joppa Flats have not been well attended. We thought that would be a better, um, a better offering. But uh, we've done backyard birds, we've done <coughs> salt marshes, we are going to do, I think it's birds of prey this month, and then next month is um, tide pools. That one I believe we're going to do at Joppa Flats. Um, but we did a group of them to get a better rate. Per class, so um, I think after we get through these four, we might take a break from that and maybe revisit in the future. But as of right now, it has not been super well attended. When is the birds of prey one? Tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? What time? What time? <laughs> See if I can drum up some interest because I know people who like those things. Right. I mean, the the people that come are really um, they're so knowledgeable and. The one who came last time, she even brought, like, she brought green frogs <coughs> with her, and she brought, uh, no, green crabs, sorry, green crabs, which I know are not good, but she was showing us them. Um, she was showing us um, all kinds of different things that she brought with her, in addition to doing a presentation. Um, and how long is the program? About an hour. Okay. Yeah. Let me just get you the time for tomorrow. And it's at the Audubon? Nope, it's at our place. Oh, okay. The one that we're going to do in June for um, tide pools, we would like to do there. We haven't been able to do things there because they've been closed to the public. Um, 1 p.m. tomorrow. 1 p.m. tomorrow. At the Council on Aging. Do you need to register ahead of time? No. Okay. <laughs> Uh, game night, very successful. Some of our participants are asking if we can increase that to twice a month, so Kathy and I are going to look into that. Um, again, we serve dinner, play games. It's kind of a nice social time. It's usually a couple of hours, two to two and a half or three hours. Um, we try and do something different each time for dinner. Um, we're always open to ideas, but I think this month we're going to go back to pizza. We haven't done that since the first time, so uh, pizza and salad. Bingo is also very well attended. When we go out into the community to Quaker Hill once a month, um, Kathy started bringing pizza um, with her there. So serving lunch while they um, play bingo instead of just having snacks. Uh, and that seems to be really well received. Um, and the benefit of that is some of the folks at Quaker Hill that either don't feel comfortable coming to the Council on Aging or they can't get to the Council on Aging for any reason, um, we can kind of come to them and, and a few more people come to Bingo as a result. So that's nice that we're getting a few more people to attend. Grab and go meals are always a, a big hit. We have 40 meals that we order each month. If we find that there's more interest, we'll, we can certainly increase that number. Um, but we offer that through a collaboration with HSPAN, and every month we try to put a little something extra in with the meal, just as a, whether it's a puzzle book or some chocolates or something, just a little extra. So upcoming programs, we do have the grab and go this uh, week. I think it's on uh, Wednesday. We have a veterans breakfast on Thursday, May 26th at 10 a.m. at the Council on Aging. Veterans and their spouses are welcome to come. The veteran service officer, Karen Tyler, has secured Steve Bone, who is the Veterans Liaison for Seth Moulton's office to come um, be a special guest. I don't know if he's going to speak or just kind of <coughs> mingle in with everybody, um, but he will be at the event. 
we are starting to get a lot of um, RSVPs for that event. Karen sent out a letter to the veterans, right. I think, so I got it the other day. Okay. So I assume she sent it to all the veterans. In the I believe so. I believe she sent it to that. Um, With your flyer. Great. Um, Delvina Theater is going to do a presentation of Luisa's Girls. It's a one-woman show that's an adaptation of Little Women. That's on Thursday, June 16th at 1 p.m. We are hoping to do that downstairs. Um, we might have to pivot and um, not do it downstairs, but we'll see as we get closer. Uh, people should RSVP to that, though, to let us know when we're coming. We like to have refreshments and just want to make sure we have enough. Um, a senior in town approached us about sharing her hobby of stamping and making greeting cards. So we have put together a one-time program on Monday, June 27th at 1 o'clock to make homemade greeting cards. Donna will bring her stamps and some other embellishments. Um, all supplies will be provided. We're limiting it to six people for now. Um, and to RSVP to let us know if you can make it. But she's going to bring stamps to make birthday cards and then um, some more kind of generic like animals and stuff like that. So that should be fun. And what time is it? 1 p.m. on June 27th. Several van trips are planned over the next two months. We have planned van trips over the April and May. Um, and people were really excited about going, in addition to just the regular shopping trips, going to local restaurants. And people got really excited, and then hospital, and I'm sick, and I'm this, and I'm that, and you know, whatever stuff came up. So we'll keep trying, um, but people are excited. We've been to the clan box, we went to the village pancake house. We have, um, we got a couple of, I think there's a seafood one this week. I believe we're going to Cider Hill, and then stopping at Lena's Seafood on the way back. That's on Thursday. Um, but we're trying to, you know, go where folks want to go, so we're always open to, we ask them where they want to go. Um, the Friends of the Newbury Council on Aging Annual Meeting is Tuesday, June 28th at 7 p.m. That is via Zoom. To get the link, you can email info at friendsofthenewburycoa.org. Um, that will be in the newsletter that's going out the beginning of June. Um, hopefully people will want to participate in that and hopefully join the friends. Uh, the same senior who approached us about the stamping approached us about an idea that we decided to call Simple Suppers. So she is a single person who is tired of coming up with ideas for what's for dinner every night. So she said, what if we do like, it's almost like a potluck. So you bring a meal, for six, enough for six people. And then um, the five other participants that are coming will all bring a meal, and then we will have takeout containers, and you take one meal uh, that each person has brought, and then you go home with six meals. And we will also be serving dinner that night, so that's one less meal you have to <laughs> prepare. But um, we're going to try it out, see how it works. Um, she seemed really excited about this thought process. I don't blame her because I don't like to come up with what's for dinner every night either. Um, but we'll have the packaging so that if you just want to freeze it and take it out and, and heat it up when you're ready. Um, we're also asking people to bring uh, the recipe for what they prepare. We also, when they call to reserve their spot, we want to make sure that you tell us what you're going to prepare. I don't want to have six people bring lasagna. That's kind of pointless. Mm. So, you know, we'll make sure that uh, there's different meal options. So that is going to be on July 19th at 5 p.m. It's a Tuesday evening. And again, we'll serve dinner and then split up the meals, kind of, you know, have some social hour together and um, then head everyone home with their, their take-home containers. So we'll see how it goes. If it's successful, we'll try and do it once a month. Our outreach coordinator has been very busy. We have monthly meetings um, with the police department, fire department, and the board of health. There used to be a program called Triad. It was through the sheriff's department. Um, and this is more, we're doing it kind of more on a local level, it's just Newbury. Um, and we're collaborating on whether it's specific seniors, there's been something like eight or 10 people of late that have had specific needs that either the Board of Health has approached us, or the police department has approached us, or we've approached them to make sure that we're all collaborating on the same page about helping those individuals um, with different needs. So the meeting is held once a month, it is, specific to whatever issues are going on, whether it be a hoarding issue or whatever. Um, but it's also just kind of general to keep each other in the loop 
and make sure we're collaborating. So that's been working out really well. So you dust it off, try that again? In a sense, it's not exactly the same. You know, Triad know did a lot yeah. of pr like different projects. I share a Triad okay. for years. So like the yeah. house number thing and the yellow dot program and stuff like that. We're not doing specific projects like that yet. Right yeah. now, it's specific to the individual needs that are happening yeah. right now. But it's 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 similar. I don't want to say it's the same, but it's similar. Yeah. The collaboration. I might be interested in that. Okay. Um, no official move-in date yet. We're hoping by June for downstairs, but as you saw when you came in, I'm sure there's lots of activity down there. Um, I am going through the procurement process now to purchase our furniture. Um, this is my first go at that. It is very involved, <laughs> so I have to come up with a, you know, specifications of what exactly we need, send it out um, to get bids, and then um, that process hopefully won't take too, too long. Um, but it is pretty detailed and that's sort of my focus at the moment is working on that. Um, once we move in and furniture is delivered and everything, we'll plan on doing a couple of open houses. We do plan to be there on Newbury Town Day, which is Saturday, June 18th. Even if there's no furniture all in there or if there's only limited furniture, we'll still be there and open so people can come in and take a look. Um, Excellent. But we will do two open houses. We'll do one during the day and one in the evening so we can be open for, you know, whoever wants to stop by and see us. Um, yes. May I make a suggestion? Yes. So if, if we are to do any of the um, fitness things there, mm -hmm. will you have folding chairs like we do in the Manter field? It, they might not be folding chairs, but they'll be regular chairs. Um, you folding would rather chairs have... are ideal. Okay. So I have the 10 that will come back to us. Um, but I will work on that. So that I mentioned it since you're talking about procuring furniture. Do you like the uh, those plastic chairs that? Yeah, they're easy. They're very light to move. Okay. okay. Um, Susan, you had sent me an email that May is Older Americans Month, um, and we had missed that for the last newsletter. But what Kathy? So Kathy used to be the activities director in the nursing home, and she had this book that was kind of like a calendar and would tell her, you know, every, you know, May is Older Americans Month or June is this month or whatever, or particular days that are, are specific, grandparents, day, whatever. Um, so we're going to look at purchasing one of those books just so that we can hit all of those kind of things and schedule programs accordingly and try and fit in with those different, um, you know, specifics. I don't want to call them holidays, but um, recognitions right. each month. So. Um, we are working on getting that so that we can um, highlight things and then maybe focus a, a program um, yeah. for something yeah. particular that's coming up. Yeah. So. yeah, I don't think anybody knew it was Older Americans Month. Anybody else? Does mm -hmm. Older know that? <laughs> News to me. So. And every month is something, right? Like Ovarian okay. Cancer Awareness Month right. or whatever. So, um, I mean, we know the big ones like Black History Month and Women's History Month, but yeah. other ones are a little less well known. So we're going to work on getting that book so that we can um, schedule appropriately. And that's that's about it. Thank you. Very nice. I just have one question on the activities. Um, do you want? I sent you an email this morning. So, I did my homework over the weekend. Do you want to talk about that during the meeting or after? Or we can talk after because I'll talk with Kathy okay. and then we'll shoot you an email back. Okay. We're trying to collaborate on a, um, a walk through Hellcat Trail yes. and then a, like a picnic lunch after. So we'll, um, I'll talk with her about your email and then we'll get back to you. Okay, awesome. great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you that sounds great. So uh, next on the agenda is other business. Um, I do have one item to bring up that um, I wanted to uh, discuss is meeting with the friends. Uh, it was uh, talked about, I think, at our last meeting about meeting with, um, in May, and that did not happen So on that particular date. So I wanted to see what's the best time for the board. Um, 7 o'clock p.m. at night was our last one on they do Zoom, and I'm sure right now uh, with the uptick in uh, COVID that it will not be a meeting in person. Mm -hmm. So if, uh, is there any particular night? I'm not available on Tuesdays. Uh, 
uh, Cindy and I have a meeting with them uh, before the end of the month. So Next we Tuesday. will, yeah, we will be discussing this then. Mm -hmm. So if I could get some feelings um, from the board, if they prefer night or early morning, and is there a night that you're not available during the week or a particular night of this coming uh, month that you're not available? I guess it depends. I'm on the board of PITA, and we yeah. meet the first Monday, first Wednesday of every month. So that would be a conflict for me. Um, but you've already had your meeting for May. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're just talking about for May or for just I'm, I'm talking about, um, I'm hope, well, actually, I guess it probably would go into June. So that's good yeah. to know. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm flexible. It just depends on that. Like, what's yeah. going on so uh, in the beginning of June I will not be available Tuesday Wednesday or Thursday nights okay. any time would we rather do a morning or a nighttime I will tell you if it's morning they're gonna want 7 a.m. oh they are that's when we hold our meetings, and it's um, the, well, we had chair of the, okay. the chair of their board has a full-time job, and I don't know if she's able to um, oh, get home by 7. No, schedule this, you know, like at 9 in the morning. You know what I'm saying? I think she might, she'd prefer a 7 a.m., I think, just simply because of the, the way the meetings have been going. Okay. We haven't strayed from 7 a.m. for the yeah. monthly meetings. So I'm willing to bet if you if you want to do a morning, it would probably no, be that early. Morning. No, it doesn't work. That time doesn't work for me in the morning. I'll be there evening. dealing with a baby or off and running. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they do seem open to a 7 p.m. time frame for the evening. Right, because our last one was at 7 p.m. So I was hoping we could continue with that because I think that's probably easy for most of us. I think so. Yep. Well, they, you said they themselves are having <coughs> on June 28th their annual meeting at 7 p.m. Correct. Is there any merit to meeting to having a joint meeting before June twenty eighth or after June twenty eighth? So the annual meeting, I think, is to try and drum up participation. Um, so I would think doing it before then okay. would be better. Does you have any night of the week? No, I think I'm good. It may be Tuesdays for the. It may be on whatever the select board date is in June, probably not. I think okay. All right. Put on my home board together. <laughs> now, you said the beginning of June. Is that the first week and the second? The first two weeks. The first two weeks. Yes, I have something planned. Yeah. And um, you're pretty open, at, except for that the first Monday in um, June. Yeah, which, oh, actually, yeah, that's June 1st. Um, yes. Yeah, I can't go to eight either. It's my birthday. Oh, of course <laughs> not. <laughs> <laughs> what day of the week what? is you don't that? Want to Wednesday. The <laughs> no, wait. Um, Wednesday. We actually have reserved the range light for dinner. Making a donation to oh. the Lighthouse Society, oh, nice. we get the place to ourselves. Oh, how wonderful! And then they, it's a catered dinner. So wow. it's kind of a cool idea. Yeah. Awesome, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. not oh, yeah. it's not cheap, but yeah. I'm turning seventy. And that's that's what I want. <laughs> Congratulations! Go for it. Uh, yeah. So, um, I'm. We're trying to be away the last week in June. Okay. But I see the twenty eighth. Tuesday. I should be able to do the board meeting on the 28th, so. Okay. Um, but prior to that. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. So uh, we'll put this together and we'll have, I asked uh, the chairman of the uh, uh, Council on Lady Friends to put it on her agenda for this coming meeting and we'll have a discussion with her and then I'll get back to you all and let you know what was decided. Sounds good. And so I am done with other business. Um, I have a piece of other business. Okay. Um, I was wondering <coughs> if we can change our 
our procedures so that a single majority can vote on the minutes. Because there are some things that require a two-thirds majority and some things that don't. And I don't know that minutes approval should, should require that. So I don't know if we can ask someone to look into that and then put it on the agenda for discussion at the next meeting. Okay. Looking for someone to do the research, I'll. Oh, I'll Bill, do the thank research. you. Thank you, Bill. He's just the best researcher. Is there anybody else that has anything they want to say? No? Nope. Okay, then, uh, saying that, let's talk about next uh, month's uh, meeting, which the third Monday is, from what I see on the calendar, is the 20th. Cindy, if you want to confirm that? Town Hall is closed that day. Yeah, so Juneteenth is the day before, and it's celebrated on that Monday. Okay, so and I'm not available okay. either. So um, should we go to the next one, or what? 27th. The 27th. Okay. So our next uh, meeting will be held on June 27th. Very good. And now we uh, is that's could... going to be our, when we do all the voting? Yes. That's when all that yeah. takes place. Okay. Go ahead. Actually, it might work out because the select board will probably be reappointing those people that need to be reappointed before that happens. So there won't be confusion of right. possibly There's electing right. someone who wasn't approved. <laughs> that, that, that's a good point. Well, I'd like a, uh, a motion to adjourn the meeting. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you all. Thank you.